This is Unleashing Leadership, and I'm your host, Travis Moss, and welcome back to The Infinite Game with Simon Sinek. We're coming to the end of our work here. Today's episode is called, If You Won't Flex, You Can't Win. Ahead of us, we've got a recap, then we've got some team interviews, some more quote days mixed in there. But before we close out the concept portion of the season, really the analysis of Simon's work, Let's talk about two final concepts that he writes about. The first is defensive maneuvering. And from a literal standpoint, this refers to actions or strategies used to as protection from potential threats. So Simon refers to defensive maneuvering as being in survival mode. And this implies some sort of negative connotation. But what I think Simon is really trying to say is that being in this mode is like standing flat-footed or being on your heels. It's more reactive and defensive in nature. We partake in defensive maneuvering generally to fortify our current position. It's an inherently finite move. It says, this is everything I have and I'm going to do everything I can to protect it. I'm not worried about any more. And it's obviously at odds with the just cause framework, which is all about moving forward and going and getting more. So this leads us to the second concept, the existential flex. And this was interesting because I'm like, I wonder, like, is this a Simonism or is this like, like, is this a real thing? So I went out there and I Googled it, of course, and from a literal standpoint, this refers to Using humor to poke fun at an idea of using existential philosophy as a form of social status or intellectual posturing. So I dug into that. I have a pretty good idea what that means, but what the heck does that mean, right? Like, like how does that go with the just cause? It actually kind of makes fun of the idea. I don't think that that's actually what he's saying. I don't think he's taking the, the... let's say, academic definition of that. I think what he's doing is he's making up a new phrase. I think he's taking two words and putting them together to make a point. I think he's using the word existential as affirming or implying the existence of the thing. Yo, I'm here. This is real. And then the word flex as put it to use. Yo, I'm here. This is real. I'm going to use this. This is what we're doing with this. And he explains it as the capacity to initiate an extreme disruption to a business to push forward a just cause. He's saying to force the just cause to make an extreme disruption, to put it to use, to actually use it. Don't just talk about it. And that by doing so, you're affirming the fact that it's there. If you don't use it, is it really there? If you're not willing to put it front and center and let it drive you forward, it doesn't really matter, does it? There's a difference between partaking in defensive maneuvers to fortify your position and aggressively expanding outward into new territory, the existential flex. He makes a point, and in my experience with startups, I believe it to be true, that the existential flex does not happen at the founding. It doesn't happen in the beginning. In the beginning, everybody's desperate to make this thing work. Everybody's excited. Endless opportunities. You got nothing to hold on to. You haven't achieved anything yet. You don't have anything to lose. No, this happens once the business is established. Once it's past the startup phase. Once it gets to the point where the finite players, they want to start reducing risk. They want to start managing efficiency and and cutting ways. Go back to team of teams our very first season. Because they're looking at what's in their hands and they're saying, oh, I just want to hold on to that. Now that I have it, now that I know what that is, I I don't want to ever lose that. Fear takes over. And this conflicts with those infinite thinkers. They believe that if you don't keep, in Simon's words, loading up, someone else is gonna. And the infinite thinker's mindset is that If you don't load up and flex, you don't survive. The finite thinker's thinking, I just need to hold on to this because I I have it and I can have it forever. And the infinite thinker's saying, 
man, as fast as we got that, somebody else can take it away. This is just the starting line, not the finish line. Finite thinkers are thinking, but if you load up and flex too much, you're going to have a blowout. You know, pop a tendon or something. The infinite thinker, they have a mic drop moment. Because they're thinking, if we're going to have a blowout, the blowout's going to come because we're chasing our just cause. It's not going to come because somebody else outmaneuvers us. The infinite thinker is thinking, if we don't flex, we're going to lose anyway. So you might as well flex. Flex.